Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to design a for dynamic form using tag helper in ESP dot net core. So select a new project, ESP dot net core project. Select web application. Change individual authentication, and press OK. This is the simple interface. Provided by Visual Studio. Now, the first uh, scenario of the topic is to create a model first. So, create a class that is guest party. In a guest party, I want to show, uh, or you can say, I wanna to invite some guest for a functional party. So, design a form. Design a simple form for the guest party. Public string name. Uh, invitation contains some uh, uh, public properties like name, email, and phone number, and uh, will attend or not. Whether uh, is uh, a visitor or a guest attend the party, then select yes. Otherwise, no. So take a bool type of property that will attend okay now after doing after creating a model then create a controller simple uh, the first thing is a get request received by the http so a blank form will show so index first to delete and again open guest home controller and add a view that is empty view okay now I want to call a member or you can say login form a registration form by using HTML tag helper in ESP.NET can uh, call you can use anchor tag with ASP action attribute that is uh, HTML tag helper in ASP.NET core guest form guest form now in the controller section register guest form in a controller section design a simple guest form or simple get request public i action result guest form and return a simple view for the guest form return view if you contain a simple model class so create model class is guest party okay yeah that's fine in ASP for attribute is communicating with the model class now this is the input or you can say a bool type property uh, designed you can say a bool type property have in drop down list so create a list create a drop down list and that sync with the 
will attend property of the modal class so ASP4 refer to will attend that is bool type property in the modal class option value the first value is null select given option and two other the first one is yes and second one is no sorry first one contain yes I will join and second no sorry the value is true and this is false much better when we click on the hyperlink that guest form refer to the simple view that is the get request of the form method now after doing this this is the guest form when we click on the button then post the guest party object or you can say the modal to the post method so one object is going to any modal class so this is the HTTP get request and design another one get HTTP post with the model because when we click on the uh, submit button the old data is posted to the model class object so guest party control dot for the namespace g party now a g party thanks g party return a view when uh, when we click on the uh, submit button then post back to the data g form and that is referred to the another view that is thanks.cshtml and provide the given details oops thanks the name of the view is referred in the thanks okay now delete all the part because it's given to the list I will show you that the list of the guest who will join the party in the next video tutorial by using modal binding so keep watching my all videos this is related to ASP.NET core so get the name of the model first and use a if statement if model dot you can design a simple HTML also with the doc type HTML design a simple form h1 tag name uh, I want to show the name of the model um, so model dot name property because in, uh, in the model we have a guest party class so written the name of the object 
module dot will attend the last property that is boolean type is double equals to true then simple print a simple message welcome tharun something something add the red colon for the printing any type of message in the if statement use add the red colon it's working as a verbatim literal enjoy this party else add the red colon sorry for this okay now start the project first to change the startup.cs file with the controller that is home controller and guess home register form this is the form oops a drop down list is not proper in proper in the css so in the select use class that is form control copy form control yeah so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial in the later video tutorial i will show you a model binding okay so keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net mbc thank you thank you very much again